Basketball star James Brown dreamed of a pro career. He didn't reach the NBA, but he did make it to CBS Sports and the host of the NFL Today. Took some unlikely detours along the road to success. He tells that story in his new book, Role of a Lifetime. JB, always a pleasure to have you here in the good studio. Good to be here. Tried to get you to smile coming off that segment saying, <laughs> I'm glad I'm feeling good, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to use any of the equipment for, uh, for the aforementioned segment. Thank goodness. So you're a high school basketball star. Mm -hmm. where, where was the place there was the most pressure for you to go to college? Wow. You know what? It probably was within because I love the fact that so many of these coaches were coming after me and I didn't want to disappoint anybody. Yeah. My high school coach, Morgan Wood, said when you go on a college visit, even if you think you want to go there, tell the coach because he was going to ask if you want to be there. I'm 99 percent sure that I'm coming. <laughs> He got a call a few weeks later said, God, five coaches have called me and said, 99. you're 99% sure you're coming. Yeah, yeah, so it was within. Yeah. You decide to go to Harvard, though. Mm -hmm. Why? The lessons driven home by mom and dad, God bless them, they're now deceased, saying that education was the foundational key for success in the game of life, number one. That was the first thing. Number two, Senator Bill Bradley was a real hero of mine. Boy, look at those sideburns. Boy, did I make it out past that. Talk about the Clyde, the Clyde Frazier influence. Talk you know? about Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think they probably called me up last to get my diploma, you know, so that the audience didn't go crazy. Didn't go crazy. So Bill Bradley, though, had, Senator gone, Bill Bradley. had gone to an Ivy League school. Yep. Yep. And because of the success he enjoyed there um, ath athletically and academically, I wanted to do the same thing in Harvard. So there's this template. And so you think, I'm going to go to Harvard. I'm going to be, you know, all Ivy, da 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 mm -hmm. da go to the NBA. What mm -hmm. happens? Didn't work as hard to stay on top as I did to get to the hop, top. So many truths in athletics that apply in the game of life. My high school coach, Morgan Wood, said, there's no such thing as standing still. You're either progressing or you're regressing. I didn't work as hard to progress, Harry. Yeah. It, how mm -hmm. much of a disappointment was that for you? And were you ready for it? Oh, you're talking about not making the pros? Are you kidding me? I cried, stayed home, hid in the house for two weeks because I thought I was a complete failure. Had no idea that the athletic rug would figuratively be snatched from up under my feet that quickly. But I realized what was important for success in a game of life. Which is? To always work hard, to never, ever be ill-prepared for an opportunity that comes your way. Mm -hmm. You said it before when we were talking during the break, keeping that plow in the ground. You know what? So many people look for, they have itchy ears. They want to hear about something new and sexy in terms of what is a success key. The old school values <laughs> work, Harry. Nothing's new under the sun, you know? For people who might see you on television and think, okay, I'm going to pick up that, that book. Mm -hmm. Is that the most important lesson? Is that the key to the story you have to tell? No, uh, I think consistent with the title, Role of a Lifetime, is finding out what your passion is, what your strengths are, especially in a team-oriented environment, and play that role well, and that will contribute to the success of the team. Yeah, because you don't have to be the guy who scores 40 points a night. Sometimes it's better just to be able to get them the Nice ball. point guard to set it up because you know what? You all enjoy the success. There you go, James Brown. Always, Always a partner. pleasure. We'll Good see you, you on Sunday, man. All right, all right. Look forward to it. To read an excerpt from Roll of a Lifetime, go to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.